Mike here. Ben here. This is the Dark Matter Kickstarter. Finally, we are trying to raise money to print a book. A real physical 200 page book with gorgeous art and a hardcover. We are pulling out all the stops for this one. Dark Matter is a full science fiction conversion for 5th edition that still makes room for your favorite fantasy staples. This is a book for any GM that wants to run a science fiction game but doesn't want to throw out the 5e system altogether. It's for GMs that want to blend sci-fi and fantasy, and it's for GMs that want to explore a big, wide-open universe for their next campaign. Dark Matter isn't a replacement for 5th edition's core rules. It's an expansion. It's a universe where technology is powered by magic and that changes everything. In Dark Matter, there's laser swords and ray guns, but you can still play an old school wizard or barbarian. You can have knights in shining armor standing next to gun-toting androids and, legally distinct, not Jedi. It's our love letter to science fiction, from Firefly to Star Wars to Dune. So we created a universe where you can bring those influences and adventures to 5th edition without throwing out the rest of 5th edition. And just so you know, we're not starting from scratch here. We've been working on Dark Matter for nearly two years now, gradually building it into the full campaign setting it is today. Out of its planned seven chapters, we've already finished five of them. This Kickstarter is to raise money for art to finish those two remaining chapters and for print costs for the book itself. Since we got them all mapped out, let's go through the chapters in order. The first chapter introduces the universe of Dark Matter, lays out the factions, and gives you a lay of the land. This is where you get most of the world building. You learn the history of all the main races, how technology works in the verse, and a little bit about what it's like to live there. Next up, there's six new races and a really customizable human subrace. The new races are the Amoeboids, which are the translucent, ooze-like shapeshifters that fly around in flying saucers. The Avira, which are sun-worshipping, bird-headed zealots. The Nautilids, which are a large aquatic race stomping around in their water-filled diving suits. The Scathari, who are survivalist, technophobic, insectoid creatures. The Vect, which are more or less living robots. And last but not least, the Rothians, which are a race of generally evil, brain-stealing monsters, but as a player character you'll be playing a defector who is basically given up on the brain-stealing. The third chapter is a player's candy shop. There are archetypes for every class, including classes we've written, feats for every build you could think of, racial feats for all the new races, and descriptions on how to use the new skills we've introduced in Dark Matter. You don't have to use these options to build a character in Dark Matter. Any build you can think of fits in this setting. But, you know, it's awfully nice to be able to build like a smuggler, a junker, a space marine. And then we've got the weapons. All the weapons. A whole table of blasters and just as many high-tech melee options from laser swords to rocket hammers to mechanical battle fists. Then we've got a bunch of equipment from duct tape to flashlight to circuitry kits. And then just a heap of magic items capped off with three all-important artifacts. Next, we've got an entire chapter on ships. We think this really sets us apart. We're going to do an entire video outlining the cool, innovative rules we've developed for ship combat, but we also shouldn't understate how cool the ships themselves are. In Dark Matter, you can have elven sailing ships flying through space alongside sleek human freighters and entire dwarven space mountains. The sky's really the limit with this. Dude, I love this setting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> After that comes our chapter of monsters and other critters. Generally, you're going to see two types of monsters here. The normal-sized aliens and constructs, and then the incredibly huge mega-sized monsters suitable for fighting in your ship. We're still finishing this chapter, but we're working hard to include enough monsters to fill every last corner of the universe. Last, but certainly not least, is the chapter on spells. We got technomancy, we got hard light spells, we got spaceship exploding spells, we got spells that fire a freaking orbital cannon at your enemies, and so much more. If you're playing a spellcaster, you might want to steal a few of these for your spellbook. If things go exceedingly well, we could have the entire book finished and shipping by April of next year, maybe earlier. I'm not setting any concrete dates yet, but if you head to the bottom of our Kickstarter page, you can look at all of our milestones to see how close we really are to having a finished book already. Our goal for this is $25,000, which I know sounds like a lot, but is 100% doable with like 500 people pledging. Even if you can't afford a print copy, you can still help us out a couple of different ways. First, just spread the word. Give your GM a nudge in our direction or share this video somewhere. Even if you don't know someone personally that's jonesing for a new campaign setting, you might know a few corners of the internet that'd be interesting. Also, you could look at just getting a digital copy. You won't have a sexy hardcover on your shelf, but it'll be complete with all the same dark matter goodness. Lastly, you can download our free 30-page sample book and give it a read. It's got whole page excerpts from every chapter except for the monsters, all of which is full of awesome, playable material for your home campaign.
please consider pledging so we can make this project a reality and get it into your bookshelves. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you out there in the verse. Thanks again. The keys to the freelancer are by the door.